What's going on everybody? This is Greg over here at Red Rock Harley Davidson uh, fixing to take the 2019 uh, breakout with the 114 out of the demo. Come, 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 Bonneville white. I mean, look at that shine in the sun. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. Of course, you got the big 114. The nice wheels. This thing's, this thing's awesome. Got the adjustable mono shock right there. Under the seat. Got this awesome LED display with all your, uh, you got neutral, your oil light, ABS. Uh, check engine, all your indicators are down there fuel cage, fuel gauge uh, over here, of course mile per hour RPM, yeah, I dig it, big 240 tire in the rear, this thing's, thing's bad mamma jam. so, cockpit view, if you press this button here, you go through all your stuff, the miles, trip A, trip B, uh, miles to empty it's a good feature and of course the time and rpm and gear so while we're sitting on it let's hear this start up that's decent i like it i like it so you got your rpm it's a neutral your abs light flashes uh up until you start moving so uh, with that said let's get going like this seat. It's got a good bit of back support to it. I like this. This is nice. Nice good uh, ergonomics here in your, your, your rider triangle. It's pretty, I like it. The seat's very comfortable. Uh, I'm a bigger guy. I'm 6'4". 3.30 and this uh, this bike is handling me very well uh, so don't just because you're a bigger guy doesn't mean you can't get a breakout I like it I mean I got a full bend in my knees so it's very comfortable my arms are extended but not straight out and of course you know it's got plenty of pulling power I know that girl this is a very comfortable ride with that 240 back there. Oh, it's fantastic. You see, I'm completely flat footed. I got that bend right there. It's nice and low center of gravity. I think anybody can ride this. It's not too heavy, but it's uh, heavy enough to not get blown around by the wind, especially out here in Vegas. It gets, it gets windy windy and hot around town when you're cruising around it's a good cruiser i actually think uh, with the seat the way it is you can actually go you go two two and a half hours depending you know depending on what you, what you got back there but uh yeah i can see it if you're especially out here in vegas you go you know red rock or uh, mount charleston something like that we can definitely make it on this with no problem no discomfort And you'll get there fast with the 114. So as we ride, there'll be stats just popping on the screen, uh, weight, fuel, econ uh, fuel economy, stuff like that. Not that we all haven't done our homework, because we all do our homework before we come into the store. I know. But uh, yeah, um, the sun is shining behind me, but I can still see this LED uh, display, so that's nice. Take this bad boy on the on the highway and uh, check that highway performance. And I'm thinking it's gonna be really good. So and uh, 
person has got a very positive when you when you shift gears it's very positive it's like you know you know you switch gears either up or down you know it the, the get up and go of this Milwaukee 8 whether the 107 or the 114 is astounding and smooth on the interstate. I like it. Uh, I say interstate into the highway. I came here from Louisiana, so get over it. Got more than enough passing power. And I mean, you can just cruise. Very well-balanced motorcycle. Um, definitely one I'd pick up if you're going around town. Are you taking those couple hour trips, you know, day trips, Red Rock, Mount Charleston, stuff like that. You can definitely do all of those things on the breakout. And like I said, this this paint is amazing. You know, when I change lanes, it just swoops right in there. It's like an eagle trying to get its prey. It just swoops right in there. With the peg, the way, the location of the pegs, it's really comfortable. Just cruising. You know, I think, uh, I think they did well with the, uh, I, the mid forward controls. Like they're not mid, they're not super forward. So I call them mid forward controls like everybody else. And they're in an excellent spot on this bike. Because it's like, across between sitting at your dining room table and sitting in a nice chair in your living room so you really have uh, this straight straight up but relaxed feel uh, it's an excellent ride i'd totally pick one up if i was in the market there should be a few bumps here and we'll see how it handles the bumps and dips and all that good stuff uh, i'm thinking it'll handle it pretty well So I mean, just so easy to to lean it over with that with that tire back there. You think it'd be bad, but it's not. I love this seat. It's just like because it has the passenger pillion, it's kind of like a backrest when nobody's on there, you know. So it gives you that lower back support, which is uh, always a good thing, especially for us bigger folk. Got really comfortable. Then, you know, there was a good little dip there. You know, doing the speed limit at 35, but um, as long as you adjust the mono shock to, uh, you know, your weight and all that good stuff, you'll be just fine with that. No matter what you hit, you know, what bump you hit. The brakes are nice, nice and smooth. There's no jerkiness. The clutch pulls uh, light, so it's not like you got It's not like one of those uh, old workout deals. Or, you know to strengthen your form now nah, it's nice and light just a uh and you shift the gear real quick and yes you have to make the sound effect i love this paint in the sun oh my gosh it's just so great i think they did a good job with those emblems um you know my feet sit here there's a lot of space here you know so it's not like i'm pressed up or anything the air filter's not in the way or air cleaner it's just a nice sitting bike i think anybody can ride this bike big tall anybody the uh off off the line acceleration on this bike with the 114 is absolutely amazing this bike will definitely get you where to where you want to go and it will get you there not only in style but with the quickness plenty of torque plenty of power you definitely can't go wrong with this bike low sleek style i would say if you're coming from uh, a street bike and you just want a little more comfort this is definitely an option 
so you still have kind of a street bike look but you're sitting up you're not hunched over so this is definitely an option i would say come on in ask for you know ask for greg of course but uh, anybody you know any of our fit specialists can help you out and uh take you on a demo and you can see for yourself just how comfortable this bike is you know these new milwaukee 8s they you know i guess they're not super new but they put out a lot less heat than they than the motors used to like the 103 like, i've been sitting here it's almost it's coming up on 90 degrees and i'm pretty sure this motor is uh, up in the 200 something but i am completely comfortable sitting here just like this with the rocket box cover right there it's just no heat you know i'm really comfortable and of course the uh the, they do have the eitms uh it's just the electronic temperature management system but you know when it gets to a certain point when parameters emit it'll shut that rear cylinder off and you'll get even less heat coming out of this motor while you're sitting on the light especially here in vegas Woo! You, you're thanking you're thanking the harley gods for that one it's a good idea on that their part have one single problem seeing the display yes it's a little different but I like it it's good to be different you can't you gotta adapt with the times so not one problem uh, I've been able to see everything clearly no matter where the sun's at Actually, it's right above me, and I can still see it perfectly. It's a well thought out design right there. All right, guys, back here at Red Rock Holly Davidson. If you want to take this 2019 breakout for a rip, just come on by and see us. Ask for Greg or any one of our uh, fit specialists, and we'll definitely help you out. Later, guys.